If you're watching this video, you're probably a small content creator, like myself. And if you're really like me, you've been uploading videos somewhat consistently for some time and you're wondering when your channel is gonna finally take off. You've been grinding. But what if I told you that all of that hard work is getting you absolutely nowhere? The other night, I was laying in my bed reflecting on my content and my YouTube channel, really trying to come up with something special. Like I really wanna have a banger video that blows up and takes my channel to a new level. And over the past year, I've really been grinding. And I think that's the problem. I have a lot of friends who are also aspiring content creators and they're also grinding. And I think that's the worst thing about being a small content creator. Everyone wants to be seen grinding. And I typed up an entire Twitter thread at like 3.30 in the morning thinking about this, but I wanted to put my thoughts into a video. But there's this idea that some people have where if you aren't uploading every day, streaming every day, posting a TikTok every day, then you aren't working hard enough. And to be quite honest with you, I think that's bullshit. If anything, I think a lot of content creators waste their time performing content instead of practicing it. And you're probably like, oh, what does that mean? And I'll tell you a short story to give you an example. Growing up, I was in band for seven years. I played the trumpet and I started in middle school and did it all the way through high school. And during one particularly rough session after school, my band director made a distinction between practice and rehearsal. And what he said was that rehearsal is what we're doing right now. We bring everyone together and everyone plays their part in front of the whole group. And rehearsal is important because it allows us to show what we've been working on. But practice, practice is different. Practice is what you do on your own. When you're at home and there's no one around to tell you what to do, and it's just you, your instrument, and the music. And practice is more important than rehearsal because this is where you grow as a musician. Rehearsal is a performance, but practice is where you actually improve. Practice is how you get better. And I think as content creators, we spend way too much time on rehearsal. Now, if you've never been in band and you don't know what any of that means, it's okay. I have yet another metaphor for you. And this one should be a little bit easier to understand. Imagine if I asked you right now to sprint 100 meters. No matter what kind of shape you're in, you could probably do it. Maybe not fast, but you could probably finish. 100 meters isn't that far. But what if I asked you to run five miles? Is this nigga serious? But content creation is a lot more like the five mile run. But a lot of people do the 100 meter dash every day and call it grinding. But really, you're just getting good at running 100 meters. If I asked you to run 200, you could probably do that too. 300, it's a stretch, but you could probably make it. But running five miles with zero training is a tall order. I think for a lot of us, we found out early on that we can run the 100 meter dash every day, no problem. And we got comfortable doing that. But really, the goal is running that five miles. And we all know deep down inside that running 100 meters every day isn't getting us any closer to that. Running five miles is, it's, it's pretty damn hard, all right? And if you try to run five miles right now, you probably fail. And failing sucks. And it makes us lose confidence. And when you're a small content creator, sometimes confidence is all you have. So we try to avoid confronting the areas we know we need to grow in. So we run 100 meters instead. We stream, we make a TikTok. We do what we know we're already good at. We're running away from that five miles, 100 meters at a time. But are you really grinding if you're just running the race you know you can win though? If you know your goal is to run five miles, why the hell are you mad that you can't do it yet when you haven't even tried? You've just been sitting there, running 100 meters every day. You can't be afraid to try something new. Because you aren't grinding, you're performing, and the act is getting old. People want something new, but all you can do is run 100 meters. Usain Bolt is the best in the world at running 100 meters, but even he had to retire eventually. When are you gonna get serious about running that five miles? Yeah, you're gonna fail. And yeah, it's gonna suck. And oh, it's gonna hurt your ego. But that's a good thing, because that's what grinding actually is. And a lot of it happens in silence. Because if you wanna run five miles, you need to do more than just run. You gotta eat right, rest well, and do other things outside of just exercise to make sure you're fit for running five miles. Things that other people won't see. Things that nobody will pat you on the back for. Things that will probably make you second guess yourself and make you want to quit. Things that you'll struggle to do while other people seem to do it very easily. I've been making videos consistently for about a year now. And after a year, I have about 1500 subs. And in that time, I've seen new channels take off and hit 100K in only a few months. 
Meanwhile, I feel lucky to get a thousand views on a single video. And I am. You can reach for something greater while also appreciating what you have so far. 1500 subs isn't a lot, but it's a start. And it shows that I'm able to make content that people enjoy. But you also can't be complacent. And that's what this is about. Because eventually, if you're consistent, you'll be able to run five miles. But you'll never get there if you're satisfied just running 100 meters every day. My videos aren't anything super special, and I think I can always make them better. But you can't sit there doing the same thing and wondering why you're getting the same result. That's not grinding. That's running in place. You have to keep pushing yourself and your creativity to new heights. You have much more potential, but you need to give yourself a chance to show it. Don't be afraid to fall on the way up. Prove yourself. All right, that's enough being serious, bro. This is getting cringe. Sound like goddamn David Goggins out here. Check out my other stuff if you want to laugh and maybe learn something. And thanks for watching the video. Peace.